the man who who worked for you where is he There's a man called Adi Dimbir Ladon. He worked for the British as a British soldier during the Second World War. This man has been waiting for the British to come back, but the British never came back. During the, the Second World War, he shot down an Italian plane. He has been rewarded as medal winner, but that medal was never handed him, and still he's waiting. In 1988, when the war broke out in here, Somaliland, that man was waiting to see his government, Britain, to return back and to save him from the genocide. But unfortunately, he has been killed with his son. He had three children. One, he has been killed with him, and two has run away while he's still young children, and they surviving. Now the, the son lives a place called Satile. In this place, the man has no health service, has nothing. Mm. No education. He and his uh, son. There's not much information on him. That's why we will find a man called Rashid Omar Magan, who is a cousin of this guy, and then will lead us all the way to the place where they live. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no information about the, uh, and about the man now, but this is the third person source. Do we know where the documents are? His... We don't know. We don't know. We will try and find. We will try. We'll go to his son first. Okay. Hello? Whilst I have red blood cells coursing through my arteries, I will see this man's redemption realized and gratitude returned for his sacrifice to Britain. We have a mission, Mohammed. We have a mission. Yes, we are going to discover you... this story. Britain neglected its own service. Not on my watch. Let's go. Documents. Mission. Rashid Omar. He's the cousin of the. Uh, ah, Rashido! Salam alaikum. Come back tomorrow. You know Let's see. We will we'll return back to the once great nation. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical as well. Why try to a number of British people, they are nice people. Yeah. But I don't know what's wrong with their government. Exactly. I think it's I think that's mostly the case in most governments, you know. The people are good, but the it's the the one guy that's in charge. Slide down the rooftop. Slide down the rooftop. It's too late. This man walking for Britain. You have visited him the first time. It's insane. Yeah. So maybe you are the first British man who is rewarding this man. Yeah. I mean, I think the visit makes sense. Exactly. I mean, it's big responsibility, and I, I don't know what I can offer except my gratitude. But okay. it's something. It's a start, you know. It's a start. Okay. Peter, we are getting in. I'm getting some kind of um, um, biscuits. Quick refreshment, pit stop. Oh. Maybe British are the best, so we need to get them a protection agreement. So that's why Somaliland drives 
agreed with Britain to protect its territory from foreign enemy, just like maybe from Ethiopia or from Europe or from anywhere. Mm. Because the people of Somalia are always free people. Yeah. They don't like someone who colonized them. For sure. Then that's why they get they get an, an agreement, protection agreement with the great great Britain. <laughs> Unfortunately, My Britain Britain has handed part of Somalia land to Ethiopia. The question is though, was it agreed or was it forced? No agreement. Was it definitely a, okay? Definitely. Yeah, okay, that's cool. No force. Yeah. And then, so how long did that last? In eight, in more than eight years. Eight years. Yeah. And so that was a, a good relationship? That was a good relationship. Mm -hmm. But in 1954, yeah. and the British government handed part of Somaliland territory to Ethiopia. That was the first mistrust between British and Somaliland. That's understandable. Okay, and the next mistress is we are going now after the funeral of the Panzer. Who, who was walking? Yeah. Who sacrificed him? His own soul yeah. has been left in the desert. Out here, yeah. And no one, no one is going to help him. Mm -hmm. And he was he in was the first. You said first troops, the, the first battalion, the first group first to join. To, but the first battalion to join Britain. Yeah. yeah. And. According to my information, while he was in, in the British Army, he fought in Burma, Japan, and... Oh Europe. wow, he was a proper... A, a, lo a lot of places. And his Barton. stripes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's, that's Rashid. He's coming to us. Oh, he's coming to us, it's Rashid. Okay. Slide down the rooftop. It's Rashid. It's the only one that knows where he lives. The son of this British, British hero. Army yeah. officer. The home of the guy is the top of the hill. Top of the hill. Yeah. Come back to We found the man. We found the man. Zad. Oh my god. No, I might admit I wanted you to stay. Zad. What's <laughs> I'm feeling emotional, mate. You can be a lot done. Mamma mia. Yeah. We'll fit, we'll fit. <laughs> the story last night too was just like a fiction. Yeah. But now it's reality. It's real. This is this is the house of the daughter of Abdi Dimbil before she moved to Morsa. <laughs> Now, now his house is, is going to where he, his animals sleep. Other Mohalis, he built a door. Mister Mahab Al Marilos, Al Maril, Aru, or Makaraya, Al Marilio, the way back. I'll get ready. I'm going to take it. The Gal Kia have a good intent. Lurka, what? In a carrot, you can lose the Makarazan. Bahamia, what I can let you. Uh, How long has he lived out here? The grandson of Grandson. Me. Yes. This is the grandson. Ah. Hello mate. What's your name? Maurit. Maurit. Chief Shepherd. Are these all your goats? Why <laughs> Look, he, here, 
he had the logistic center he, he was he was prote his father yeah. was protecting yeah and the plane has landed in here mm -hmm. then the the in italian soldiers inside the inside the in, inside the in plane yeah come out all the way to here so he come out from here and then he stand here to to um, to stop them to fly again really this is uh, absolute hero <laughs> He killed all the men who were in the in the plane. He's such a man. If I could be half the man of your father, I would be proud. It's inspiring and, and this is the real hero, you know, Somali Lamb Blood. The plane is 1941. And they and this the next event in 1988. Many years later. Right. Okay. So does he have the documents? The, what the document files. Though? He said, I have no document. I only know my sister had some. Because if I go back to London, I can find get the medal, the reward, you know. I have no more information besides that because yeah. I was too child. Oh, too young. Okay. Okay, we can maybe, maybe the sisters then. Maybe. We'll have to okay. find. Sad. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't confuse. Mm. Somalia was under the Italian colony. Yeah. And Italians uh, trained Somalian army. Yes. And Somalia was British protectorate. The man who who worked for you, where is he? Yeah. He has done all the things for you. And then you, even if his people and government left from you, you need to know where this man is. If some if someone now helps you in Hargeisa, when you return back to London, you will ask, oh, that man was a good man. At least it's the system of government. Exactly. Not the British people. There's no mother child care to have something in here. Oh, the mother yeah, because died? During the, during the delivery. Oh, my word. The second child. So now here, the son and the father only lives in here. And then the sister, the, the, in, the daughter, even she lost her husband. Just a day of tragedy. At least you are making something. Exactly, yeah, it's the truth is yes. tragedy often. Okay. People all like to sugar also, sugarcoat it. Also, also, if we, let's say Fred Skurman, because he came here in the desert to find this story. That's true, that's true. At least I've done something. Yep. <laughs> Even the BBC never was Yeah, BBC. Even the Big bunch of something else. Okay, so we need to find these documents. Yes. That man needs his recognition. Okay, okay do we go It's my obligation, it's my duty back? to do so. Do we return back to, his, to the home? Do we go to his home or do we go directly? Uh, we, 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 need we, to... we need to find the documents. Okay. Just for, for the week, just to help with stuff. I'm not a rich man. I'm not, I'm not an important man. But I am a British man. <laughs> and I'm qualified to say forgive us and thank you, your father, for for sacrificing and, and serving, you know. Really nice to meet you, okay? <laughs> We will see the letter. What's the letter? I cannot remember who who told this story about the man who wrote this the letter, her right letter. But this letter is telling that how this man has served was working for Britain and where he where he was and what he has done. A summarized history about this man. Some sort of yes. evidence of his life and Yes. The, the document I hope that you will find yeah. from her and at least it's his important. name, how uh, his bearing of his name, and then um, his rank.
lot of lunch. What's this soup? What's that? Rice. I know. Check it. Rice, of course. And these? What? Water. Water. Perfect. What's this stuff? Chicken. Chicken. Yes. Like a spicy? Yes. Perfect. Put a little bit on. Chicken. Try a bit. Spicy. Tanks are full. Let's see where we find these documents. Let's make this. Uh, let's make this real. Success? The tallest right here and then on our way to this I think we found the location. Fingers crossed. There are not any more in here. Shit. Do you, is there anyone you can call? Which is literally the final moment. Success. Good job, Mohammed. Hello. Hello, how are you? Give me one more year. The daughter of a legend. Who are you? Yes. Who donated it? I think I'm going to I'm going to go to the I'm going to go I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to I'm going Like you are Yeah. These are documents. Yeah. They have the documents. <laughs> the hero, the myth, the man, the legend. No, he's come to life. He's come to life. It was what was he saying? It was a story last night. <laughs> it, was it, was just a, it was just a you know urban legend. Look at it. So this is the document. That's amazing. This is discharge certificate. Number sixty six. Frank is that Corporal. Is that Corporal? I don't know. Abdi Dimbil. Abdi Dimbil. Yes. He's from Habara Wal Chibrila Bukur. <laughs> Where's that? Where's Habar Dimbil? This is the tribe. Oh, that's the tribe? Yes. Service 17 years. 17 years in the military. British yeah. military. Yes. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> And this is the handwriting letter. No way. That's the letter. Okay, I'm going to see that. Can my hand that? This letter comes from a man. He used to live in Djibouti. Mm. The man I was telling you. Yes. So he's asking if he can, if he can, if she can send this paper to to him, so he can send to the British. He's asking Shukri Abdi Dimbil to send this document is to him so he can send he can he can take to the british councillor in Chibuti. Wow. but the man died before he before he took this letter really i'll take it back <laughs> do, they, do they want it back in england i can i can complete the mission i'll take it straight to number 10 downing street yeah? you go i'll go she she's telling you we we we, we, are, we are poor people. Yeah. We don't know how to find uh, the, the rights of our father. Yeah. So we will be very glad if you can. You know, so the they are telling you just to take a photo of it. By the way, she said 
you will get his information in Britain. She said, we ran away from the war when we were killing. Oh, so they lost a lot of the information and yes. the stories. And yes. Whatever we had, we lost. A lot of more information. Mm -hmm. This is the only remaining thing. Mm -hmm. But it's still important. It's, but it's, it's, it's a ticket in the right direction. Okay. It's, uh, okay. it's, it's something and it's okay. gonna, you know, one step forward. We've made the next step and we'll make the next step after yeah. that. How much does she remember? Okay. The Italian is torturing him at the first, and then uh, British rescue him. Okay. The only good thing they do, and then he went to his original place, and then he had a he had a problem in the re in his ribs. He didn't get enough medical treatment. Yeah. So and the 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 more interesting thing, and uh, when Italian trained army came here. They took her brother, and her father has tried to uh, to to help him his son, mm. but he they beat him again, 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 and that's why. Savages, Italian. This this was that was 1941, mm. and this was 1988. So two times, one by the Italian, the other one is Italian trader. Beaten and tortured twice. Mm. Here, and right? then they are suffering now. Mm. Oh, there we go. Just okay. to see you out the week or something, but it's um, as a, a thank you from you know for his service. To I am proud of you that you have ever come. Even yeah. no one never come to me. You are the one who is going to represent me. Definitely, it not only represents one person, but all the people that have been forgotten. But it's like a story that will lead a sh a, like a light, a beacon of hope for other families. And... Abahai or Mudder de Bapais now, Mudder led in some Ushakeli in Griska, Tabuino saw Galay, Mahan Kodada, Rakamada, Epilada, Hasarana, Asana, Imikanu, Wakia, Tariki, Anam de Dubai, or Noka for a grave, Mahandoria, Safarati, Ulashakeli, and Grisco, in a Abahi Haki, see you were covered the Yakahani with a chip, the Divatara, and I say, Abahi and Tajini. Okay. Hey. You will be the British journalist who tells the untold stories of the British. How many years she, she has given this document? 400 years. And also, you know, I know it was World War II, but I think instead of building a life and a career for himself so he could support his children and give them a good life, you yeah. know, he, he had to go and get go to prison, get tortured. Yes. And so it's, it, you know, the repercussions and the rip, it's like a ripple effect. Yes. It's through successive generations and there's no help for it, you know. Still more challenges. Book's not over, but the chapter, chapter's closed. So we'll, we can, uh, we can be happy we achieved that today, I think. Inshallah. You think? I think so. Very important pit stop, you know. Important part of the story, actually. Um, chat is very. I can't think of an excuse. We're just drug addicts. We need to get our fix. So we're gonna get some cat. The journey home. We've earned it. Stop flirting. Leave the poor girls alone. To be continued. We go back to when I eventually go back to London. I will. I'll look into this and see it through. You know, the war, a lot of people are misplaced and you can't, you can't flat out say Britain are bastards, but you can say there's definitely a, a level of responsibility that they didn't follow through on. So, what do you think? As for now, we choose some chat. And we get on with our lives. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank